All right, so I'm going to show you how to shape crusty dinner rolls. And the dough that I'm using is a dough that I made with baguette dough with olives added into it. And it's fermented for two hours, but you could use any type of straight dough. And by that, I mean any type of dough that doesn't have fat in it, like a baguette dough or a sourdough loaf of bread. Brioche won't really work because it has too much fat in it, so it won't be crusty on the outside. So I'm gonna take my olive baguette dough and I'm going to divide it into 50 gram pieces. So about the size of a large golf ball, if you just wanna eyeball it. So I'm rolling these 50 gram pieces of dough into rounds, into balls, and I'm placing them onto parchment lined sheet trays to proof. And I'm spacing them out so that they're about three across the short way and four across the long way. And so again, when you're rolling dough out, these are sticky, so just flour your hands and use a lot of pressure and start to move your hands in a circular fashion. Great, and so we will start proofing these and to proof these I'm going to cover them with a damp cloth so that they don't develop the skin. Okay, so my olive rolls have been proofing for about 45 minutes now and I'm looking to see that they're proofed by just tapping them on the side and see that indentation, it sort of stays, and that's how I know that they're proofed. So I'm going to start first by doing a quick little score with these scissors right on the top, and I'm basically going to cut them like this. One and two, just a cute little X. So I'm cutting these. A, it helps the dough to expand if there's a score in the dough that the dough can expand into. But for these little dinner rolls, I'm mostly doing this for a decoration. So these are scored. So now I'm going to take, this is room temperature water, and I'm going to pour it into the bottom of a broiler pan, and then I'm going to load the two trays of bread into the oven. So I'm pouring about a cup of water into the broiler pan. and that's going to give my bread some extra steam. And now I'm going to spray the bread, actually spray on the bread with some steam. And then I'm gonna close the oven and I'm gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. Okay, so our olive rolls have been baking for about 20 minutes and they're ready to come out of the oven. And I'm just gonna set them aside to cool. And that's how you make crusty dinner rolls.